Yo, what up, Stomp fam? It's been a while since you've seen us on, our, on your screen. And let's be real, load shedding is killing us. So bear with us, y'all. Bear with us. So as you know, it's your boy, Unfiltered AP Gage. And I've got the mans with me, Wrestle Drop, and our special guest today. Hailing from Australia, we got Tech. Don't miss. Yes, sir. Yes, Thank sir. you for joining us on the channel today, man. Thank you. And now, no worries, no worries. So now we're here to discuss Royal Rumble returns and debuts. There's many possibilities of who's going to return and who's going to make their debut, i.e. Chris Masters is going to return to the Royal Rumble for some odd reason. Like, this, I didn't expect that in 2023. And also there's rumors that Jay White could make an appearance and we're going to get to Jay White in just a second. So I want to hear from you guys. What returns or debuts would you guys like to see at the Rumble? Let me start off with the guest of honor, Tech. Let me actually, you know, um, spit something. Um, maybe Johnny Gargano, Ooh. because he's been injured for a while. Yeah, I could see that. I Gargano could see that. And, and also Champa as well, DIY. Ooh, Champa. Champa's a forgotten about, yeah, because... a forgotten about name, that's for sure. Oh, for sure. I need yeah. to also jump back on my screen, y'all. It's been too long. It's been too long. And then we get the return of Champa. DIY in the ring. I like that. I like that. Yeah, I think I think Champa and Gargano don't have much to do. So them returning in the Rumble have a little eye to eye. I know that sounds weird, but you you know what I mean. And then the return of DIY. I, I like that. I like that a lot. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it seems like a good idea. Seems like a good idea. For sure. If we talk about DIY, the possibilities of them going up against the Usos, that's if they're still champions. Because I know WWE is planning on splitting the belts, both the world and tag titles. So what we'll do you, how do you feel about Usos versus DIYs? Hmm. Lord I was Lord. thinking more Usos versus FTR first, actually, because FTR's happen. contract expires in um in April. That that could happen. So yeah, we... but it but it expires in April. They'll probably have a three month. Uh, no, if it expires, they won't have any uh, no compete clause. So could they appear at Mania, FTR, or is it too is it too early in April? maybe it's too early i feel like it might be too early i feel like give ftr a little bit of time mm. or you can give them a little bit of time okay like they could make an appearance off on the raw after wrestlemania and we all know a raw after wrestlemania is nothing without a surprise return or debut for sure it's nothing okay let's let's get back to the the topic at hand do we see matt cordona in the rumble i think it's a shoe in like i think it's happening He's just got, he's yeah. just, um, what's the word? Sorry, it's, it's left my, uh, trademarks the, the name Zack Ryder. So he oh, yeah. now owns the name Zack Ryder. So it could be a possibility that he comes back as Zack Ryder. I, I don't have know. a feeling. I have a feeling. But the one thing you can say in wrestling is never say never. True. That's one thing. True. What do you think about Matt Cordona, Tech? I feel like he's trolling, I'll be honest. He is always trolling on social media, so like, I don't know. I actually don't know at this point. Maybe he will, wrong. maybe he won't. I don't think yeah. you're wrong. I really he just don't trolls think you're a lot, wrong. Yeah. He, he's a huge troll, for sure. Uh, it's it's not a bad thing, because we don't know whether he's going to appear or not. So, could work in his favor. All right, all right. No more stress. And now, this is shying away from returns. Let's talk about debuts. And I got to address the big elephant in the room. Switchblade, Jay White. What are we saying? What are we saying? Let's, let's hand WWE this, or AW? Let's, let's hand this over to the, the man who probably knows the most about New Japan in this conversation. Tech, what do you, what do you think? So Jay White does have a match for New Japan in February. So. I, th I believe it's Battle of the Valley. It's Switchblade Jay White versus who was it? Eddie Kingston. Eddie Kingston. So I don't believe a debut will happen 
unless like I'm wrong, but like he does have a match for New, for, like, New Japan very soon. So and when is his match? I don't really see he's that. He's also happening. got that match versus Hikaleo at some point, and I don't see him or Hikaleo appearing anywhere else until that match happens, because that match is the loser leaves Japan match. So yeah. I I think Jay White is very low on on the radar to appear at Rumble. Yeah, exactly. but WWE has expressed some interest in him as of late. I, and I actually feel like if we're talking, sorry to interrupt you, if we're talking Forbidden Door appearances from New Japan, I actually think Tamatonga could be the one if if there's any of them. Simply because of oh. his stuff with Carl Anderson. If there is one, I feel like it'll be him. Tamatonga, that's an interesting pick. That is an interesting pick. But it's also, but I feel like, fire. But like, yeah. I feel like Tamatonga and Hikale are like a a deal. You know, what I'm saying together because like they're both like brothers. So like, yeah. if one enters, the other one like will. So yeah, it's rather both of them or none of them. You know. I agree with you. I agree with you. I just feel, I feel like New Japan has to give something back to WWE for Carl Anderson being at Wrestle Kingdom, and we'll just have to yeah. wait and see what that is. Is it going to be someone in the rumble? Is it going to be something further down the line? Who knows? So yeah, we'll see. Women's women's Royal Rumble. Who are we thinking? Anybody got some ideas? I see Beth Phoenix returning. In the rumble, though, I don't know so much. I feel like she's going to do something with with Edge and the Judgment Day. Yeah, no, that is exactly what I was going to talk about. So yeah. I see Rhea dominating the rump, the women's rumble for a bit, like say a good 15, 20 minutes. Then I don't know what number Beth will come out. Like say, let's say 21. I don't know. Just a random number. She comes out. Beth and her have a stare down, and then Beth beats the cock out of her. That type of thing, you know. Cause because WWE loves doing those type of returns. They love those type of returns, really. For sure. Take any, any ideas from you, Women's Royal Rumble? Hmm, maybe Naomi? Uh, that, that's the big one yeah. I didn't even think of. Yeah, Naomi, oh, most likely. Abby. Because I think she already signed, I believe. I'm not sure, but I believe she already signed. There was rumors that she was heavily in talks, like recently, like a couple weeks ago. Oh, yeah. So, so she, she probably is signed, for all we know. Maybe, yeah. Uh, Naomi entering Ooh, number thirty. I've seen. Um... I, I'll... Sorry, carry on. I feel like she'll most likely enter like number twenty or something like like that. Not Somewhere 30. in the middle. Yeah, I've yeah. seen a lot of rumors. That this happens every year about AJ Lee. Bro. No, it happens no, every no. year. Let's be Stop. real. I know, and but it's not happening. Year. And we get the same result. She doesn't appear. But WWE just posted a YouTube video of her and John Cena kissing, like randomly, six years later or however many years later, like today. Whoa. Are they just messing with us? Uh, no. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. We'll just have to wait and see. I, I doubt she'll be there, to be honest. I think her loyalties are with uh, Punk, so. Mm. So what legends are we thinking is going to make an appearance because there's always a few one or two nostalgic acts in the rumble who are we say uh, uh, rvd 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 he can still wrestle yeah yeah he can still wrestle he's like 54 and still wrestling like in the independent scene so yeah maybe he might come for like a one-off appearance that could be a good one that so, could be a good one what about x Pac? Oh yeah, Xbox too. I can see it. I feel like he's also still active every now and then on the indies. So Xbox could also be one. He's in good shape, you're right. What about Booker T? He's he's (laughs) also in shape. He's also wrestled for his promotion, his company. Uh, Recently, actually, I think it was like a month ago. So he's in shape. I think Book. I I want to see Booker T. That, that's who I want to see. I've always had a soft spot for Booker T, so... I don't know what you guys say. Well, all I gotta say is... 
Way Barrett. How about Way Barrett? It's been too long. Ooh. What about him? I like Way Barrett. About Barrett. Man, I don't know. I don't know. I don't. I don't see it happening because I feel like he would have returned yeah. at some points already. So, what about someone like Corey what? Graves? He's also been cleared apparently. Hasn't he been cleared for quite some time now? Yeah, for yeah. about a year yeah, now. Yeah, he has. Yeah. <laughs> this is the exciting thing about I've... the Rumble. There's there's so many names you can throw out, and you just you just don't know. And then a name will come up that nobody's even thought of, and he appears in the rumble. So I, I'm really excited. I think. Wait, how about Edge? Edge yeah, is, Edge is returned. Edge returns every Edge. two weeks, bro. He'll be there. <laughs> <laughs> every two weeks is the return of Edge lately. So Ed, Edge will definitely be there, and he'll cost Finn Balor. Or he'll eliminate Finn Balor. I think. I think that'll. I be feel like story. he might have something to do in the tag match with the Usos and. Judgment Day. That too. Or he'll. That too. Or maybe. Yeah. We'll see. It's, it's going to be interesting. I'm really excited. I think before we end this video, I'm not sure if we'll have Tech back on for the predictions. So I'm not sure if you have a prediction yet, but who's going to win both Rumbles for you? Uh, so who do I want to win the Rumble? Okay. So women's is pretty obvious. It's Rhea Ripley. And then, um, so Rhea women's rumble and then male would be Cody Rhodes. Okay. I mean, like personally, I want Sami Zayn to win, but yeah, Cody Rhodes. Okay. I like it. I like it. I think MPK is sort of on the same wavelength as you. Definitely with a Rhea one. Me, not so much. Mm -hmm. But but we'll- My we'll... second option, if Rhea doesn't win, then probably Naomi. Naomi would be a good option. We'll, we'll discuss it more in the, the predictions video, but I just wanted to hear Tex in case we don't have him on again till till the Rumble. But I think right, that'll be sure. that'll be all for, for this video today, guys. If you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button. If you haven't checked out Tech, go check him out. All his links will be down below. Everything will be down below. Go give him a follow. His content is great, especially on TikTok. Um, so yeah guys, hit that like button, let us know who you'd want to see in the Rumble, any nostalgia acts, any returns, debuts, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Anyways guys, take care, it's just been too sweet. Sweet! Cool. Oh, yes.